It was Father's Day over the weekend, so what better time to roast your dad? Am I right, Lonzo? Hey guys, it's Ty. Thanks for watching The Fumble. For all the latest news on all your favorite athletes, make sure to hit subscribe and make sure to follow me on the gram and Twitter at TyWentOnSports. Oh, and if you want to see more of your girl, you can check out my channel at youtube.com slash Ty Simpkins or click here. All right, there's a lot going on with the Ball family right now. Then again, when is there not? Let's start with Lonzo giving LeVar a little roast action in a new commercial for Father's Day. Zoe and a few other ballers were talking about all those special father-son moments. Zoe talked about the very first day when your dad embarrasses you in high school at a game. It was that big day when your dad berates your high school coach in front of an entire crowd for not getting you enough touches. Hey, at least you know he has your back. And for all of you wondering whether or not Zoe, Jello, and Mello make their big life decisions on their own. Or that special moment when your dad sits you down and tells you where you're going to college. Then the rampage came of all the recent special moments between Zoe and LeVar. Copyright your name to make it a part of a family lifestyle brand. Went on first take and shouted back and forth with Stephen A. Smith about how you're already better than the reigning league MVP. All those interviews from the stands during college games. Excuse me, I'm sorry. It was just so moving, you know? Special moments between a father and a son. On the real though, I'm glad Zoe could have fun with it. To me, it really does seem like he's fine with his dad's antics, and he doesn't really let all the hype around it affect him, but maybe that's just me. All right, say what you want about LeVar, but he is a smart man. As most of you know, he started the JBA, which is a rival to the NCAA because they, well, you know, actually pay their players. Now, LeVar's been saying he's gonna pay his players between three and 10K per month for the last year. And the JBA confirmed each player will for sure receive at least 3K on top of 60% of jersey sales. That is fair as fuck. If people are buying your jerseys, that's all you. Hinty hint, NCAA. Taking the jersey sale money is actually thievery, but that's neither here nor there. All right, basically what I'm saying is get it, LeVar. This is one thing I really appreciate him for. Y'all already know how passionate I am about the NCAA paying the players they make billions off but that's okay you know now that I think of it all of his balls the Suns are doing really well we got Zoe playing for the greatest team in the world the Lakers and one of the attracting forces in drawing in the best free agent LeBron to the team we have Melo who's only 16 and is the face of a new basketball organization that's popping off and we have Jello who is up for the NBA draft this month Jello's worked out for the Lakers Warriors and he's feeling confident he said I feel like I'm going to get drafted. If I don't, I'll go to the G League, be a free agent, or join a summer league. I think the kid is going to get drafted. Maybe second round, we'll see. I've seen some of his workouts. He definitely has a presence on the court. All right, how many of you watch Ball in the Family? Do you remember the episode where LeVar flips out on Zoe and Jello over their tattoos? Okay, well, he said at the time, you know, he doesn't have tattoos, his father didn't have them, so they don't need them. But now we know the real reason he doesn't want his employees, sorry, I mean son, to have them. Endorsement deals. He said there's a reason everybody don't get endorsement deals doing it. They all tat it up and it's not for that. You can't hold no baby in the hospital all tatted up with your arms and stuff. All right, LeVar, I hear you, but LeBron has tattoos and is one of the most endorsed players in the world. Kobe has tattoos, they're gonna be fine. All right, guys, LeVar has a special message for all of you. We got the baddest dudes. Look at a little scrimmage going on right now. We're gonna have a pop-up shop inside every arena where you can get the best big baller gear and the JBA gear. You only can get it in one spot. But I gotta tell you right now, it's five days now, and it's gonna be four left, and they gotta sub, I gotta go. Pushing that merch as always. Guys, drop a comment and let me know if you'll be buying tickets to watch the JBA. Bam, I'm gonna shout one of you out in tomorrow's video. All you need to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications, and then drop a comment telling me you're in the notification squad. Then just make sure to watch tomorrow's video to hear your name. Hey, much love.